to talk about consumer behavior. And by the end of this chapter, you should be able to, end of the video series, I may have, I think I have four video series, A, B, C, D. And in each of these video series, I will be covering a portion of these learning outcomes. Okay, these are the following learning outcomes for this chapter. Model of consumer behavior. We're going to talk about how consumers behave. Then characteristics affecting consumer behavior. Types of buying decision behavior. The buyer decision process. The buyer decision process for new products. So these are the things that we're going to cover. Coming on to the first uh, model of uh, the consumer buyer behavior and consumer market, the consumer buyer behavior refers to the buying behavior of the final consumers. These are the individuals and households who buy goods and services from for personal consumption. Consumer market refers to all of the personal consumption of final consumers. Okay. Whatever uh, your final consumers have been working on or whatever the final consumers have been, uh, you know, purchasing or whatever they want to purchase, that is the consumer market. If you look at the model of the consumer behavior, you have the environment in which you operate your business. You have the buyer's black box. Now, this is something very important. the buyer's black box and you have buyer responses in the environment the marketing stimuli or other you have product price place promotion and we're going to we have been discussing this in the previous uh, chapters and previous videos the other one is the economic technological social and cultural environment the buyer's black box indicates the buyer's characteristics buyer's decision process and then you have buying attitudes and buy and preferences and then you have purchase behavior what the buyer buys when where and how much and then you have brand and company relationship behavior next you have the characteristics affecting consumer behavior you have culture then you have subculture you have social class in social uh, box you have reference groups family roles and status then you have age and life cycle st stage occupation economic situation lifestyle personality and self-concept and then you have psychological for example you have motivation perception learning beliefs and attitudes and then you have the buyer itself so these are the things that affect the consumer behavior many buyers now target specific subcultures with marketing programs tailored to their specific needs and preferences for example Procter & Gamble's cover girl Queen Cosmetics line was inspired by Queen Latifah to celebrate the beauty of women of color so subculture is something very important because many many people nowadays are segregating into their own identities and it is very important to uh, tap into those identities and serve those markets culture cultural factors just like we saw in this previous diagram now we're going to break these down and learn about them individually Culture is the set of basic values, perceptions, wants, and behavior learned from family and other important institutions. So that's your culture, what you've been seeing when you've been growing up, what you do, how you behave, how you do certain things, how you, the rituals that you have in the morning, your bedtime rituals, all of these things, how you spend your day, what are your beliefs and everything, your, you know, the way you dress, the way you carry yourself, all of these, this is culture. And in order to market people, you need to understand their culture. Because unless and until you understand the culture, you won't be able to market appropriately. You might be marketing the wrong way and it could offend them. You, got, you might be marketing in a way that they do not need. So in order to market uh, right in the bullseye, you need to make sure that you study culture. You also need to study subculture. Subculture are groups of people within a culture with shared value systems based on common life experiences and situations. 
okay so this is also known as a group from minorities if you have a minority in the region and there are more minorities sub minorities in that region it's known as a subculture and subcultures also have their own unique existence their identities their experiences their faith their belief and their values that they want other people to respect so these are the things that you need to research in the community around you to make sure that you do not leave anybody out and also to make sure that you are also marketing people who are not being you know taken care of right now by the current market because that could actually suggest a value hidden hidden value for you hidden market for you okay cultural factors for example uh, professor hofstede defined the uh, he's a distinguished professor he defined five dimensions to analyze and compare cultures across the world using research conducted in egypt iraq kuwait lebanon libya saudi arabia and the uae he developed the measure of the arab world these are five dimensions the five dimensions are the power distance index the uncertainty avoidance index the individualism the masculinity and the long term orientation this is also somewhat you know similar to psychology 101 and you trying to understand the psychology of particular culture and particular subculture living in a particular country and you know some cultures they uh, they act differently when they're outside the country they act differently when they are inside their own countries so you need to uh, observe these changes you need to observe uh, these behaviors and then create a marketing plan these indexes they help indices they help understand uh, the uh, they help you draw closer to these people social classes our society is relatively permanent and ordered divisions whose members share similar values interests and behaviors okay these are measured by combination of occupation income education wealth and other variables so social classes also help you um have a great idea of how your consumers behave in their natural environment and it is a combination of occupation income education wealth and other variables all right for example you also have an arab example or social classes in uae where i'm living right now you could apply these same principles in your own uh you know in your own surrounding in your own community where you plan to do your business okay you have nationals all al muwatinin which is known as the uae nationals and you are you have the foreign immigrants like the al wafadin so i mean that's an arabic term we don't need to worry about that but this is something you know applying what you just learn in a specific geographic location so this is like an application um uh, aspect of the video going on right now so do not think that you know i am talking about a culture where i am living currently what you need to think is how you can apply this to the community immediate community around you okay we can divide the culture of ua in two ways you have the nationals and you have the immigrants in the nationals you have the ruling sheikh sheikhly families you have the merchant class you have new middle class and you have low income groups from the foreign immigrants you have top professionals and international contractors you have middle range professionals you have low paid semi paid semi skilled and unskilled workers okay so then if you look at the uh, just try to try to define your own color community try to try to segregate it and see what kind of uh, uh, dominant dominant segregations you can come up with so group your uh segregations under under proper labels social factors groups and social networks you have membership groups groups with direct influence and to which a person belongs aspirational groups are groups and individual wishes to belong reference groups groups that are form a comparison or reference in forming attitudes or behavior okay so these are the different kind of groups that have potential where that your consumer market can easily get attracted to okay and this directly influences directly influences the way you conduct your business 
All right, let me stop the lecture right here uh, at the 10th slide and I'm going to continue in part B in the next video. Uh, just let me complete the social factors. The word of mouth influence in buzz marketing. Opinion leaders are people with a reference group who exert social influence on others. These are the leaders in their market, okay? And these are also called influentials. Influentials are leading adopters. For example, if they are wearing something, everybody wants to wear it. Marketers identify them to use as brand ambassadors. If people are easily influenced by such people, marketers try to get them to act out their advertisements or endorse their brands for themselves. All right, let's stop right here and I'll see you shortly. Take care.